Hello, good day to everyone, and I welcome you to the another episode on Molflow's Tips and Workflow. In this episode of Tips and Workflow, I am going to demonstrate automatic report generation that is recently introduced in Autodesk Molflow Synergy 2023-02. This report was in, or the, this process was done in collaboration with Audi Germany and our consulting team. Now this script or the automatic report is made available to the all the Moleflow users who are using the most latest version of Moleflow that is Synergy 2023.02. So with that, let's get started. My name is Sachin Fulsundar. I am a senior technical specialist, part of the advanced manufacturing solution at Autodesk. I completely understand that, you know, one of the most tedious thing uh, that every user probably wants to postpone or you know take more time is on the report generations and trust me Autodesk development team is putting a lot of efforts how to make this process more easier to the each and every user and one of the effort here is building up the scripts so as you can see that if you are open the latest version of Synergy and you are into the report tab, you should now be able to see a Audi report actually, a symbol. So you can get started with this uh, script. So basically this script lies into your C drive, Autodesk, no, sorry, C drive, program files, Autodesk, Moleflow Synergy 2023 then in the uh, should have a folder called vendor and uh, in that you should be able to see the Audi report if you want to make that changes so you can go into the script in that particular folder and uh, you can make the changes to it so as you click this button the first and foremost things that appears is on to the the tape and uh, it asks you for the language since it was built for the Audi uh, in Germany. So the first preference is G for Germany and E for English. And then second tab comes up is like, how do you want to get started with the report generation? Do you want to start at the mid level or you want to start from the beginning? Here the system or the script very intelligently understands uh, what analysis you have run. As you can see here, it shows 17 you know slides I would say and most of the results if you re look at carefully those would be from the fill and flow so I have run a fill and flow analysis so I could able to see those you know 14 or 15 uh, results out of that but if you run like cool fill pack and warp then you should be able to see those results as well very interesting part it's often been complained by the many of the users is that it doesn't allow me to custom the results or the custom the plots i want to zoom in at particular location now with this automated report generation script it allow you to view it put the angle before you capture it i'll show it uh, as we progress on to the this demonstration and these are the plots that get developed for example like an uh, uh, sample thickness plot that is getting generated out of this but it has a whole lot of detailed plots uh, you can see uh, I try to call it over here so you can put the name of your project your material informations get automatically captured the overview for your model all those element uh, and node numbers uh, aspect ratio everything gets very precisely captured including the processing conditions and you can see that a very detailed report is generated for the fill and pack and same way the report for the uh, cool fill pack warp can be generated and if you can see the slide number particularly the sixth one here and you could able to see that I just not capture the whole wall thickness but you know details of those uh, views I like in the thickness plot for a particular grill view has been captured over here and so you can generate a very uh, detailed report with customized plot and views that you are interested in it 
so let's get back to the you know in action and i'll show you how this scripts works and uh, i'll show you the sample report as well i have opened the synergy now here and uh, you can see that i have a, a door panel over here and uh, basically I want to create a report for this door panel and it has all of the feed systems runner everything been arranged to it and let's see how the reports get generated out of this uh, uh, sample part now I can go into the report tab and you can see now here you will get an uh, audio report for the cleanliness and better view what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these element properties to the say triangle elements as uh, solids okay uh, and why it's not changing because here I have forcibly applied the conditions if I put it default uh, it should change to the solids looks much better now and I'm going to uh, run a script over here audio report and uh, as soon as I re uh, run the script the pop-ups comes over here there's a pop-up and it asks for the like you know G for German or E for English I'm going to say E for English okay and then um, on to the other side it starts now creating the report actually and uh, it gives the information that hey you want to start from the beginning or you want to set I'll say beginning and uh, what's the name of the your project I will say that it's the project for and you know uh, just giving a name it's a scandium project I'm putting the name actually and uh, then it asks for the what's the name of the part I would say a door panel I'm demonstrating it it's very intuitive and as soon as uh, uh, you keep on typing that it keeps on popping up this one so a very intuitive with getting goss in it and uh, yeah and then it asks you to how do you want to position the part you want to take a picture I will say that yeah then I have positioned it properly get a picture of it and it starts getting the picture for your part uh, let me show you the how the plot look like okay uh, so I'm this is what the window is looking like now you can see that it has created a scandium door panel injection molding software for this and those things starts popping up it, it is yet to complete it the script is still running in the background uh, so it will ask you to uh, further questions and you just need to answer to those uh, questions actually basically so I'm still working on it let the report the thickness plot is getting generated so it is asking please hide everything to generate a thickness plot I will say okay and uh, let's open the synergy and uh, I will hide everything for the thickness plot and uh, including the hot runner so that it's not a good way actually I should have you know captured the thickness plot in much better way uh, say hit ok and uh, please comment on the wall thickness this is like you know, the wall thickness is like you know wall thickness nominal I would say that is uh, 3 mm I would say I hope so uh, yeah it's 3 mm and uh, again it asks you do you want to view and detailed view I will say yes and uh, it allows me to zoom in now to get the detailed view of that window hit ok it captures the detailed view and so and so forth and you can please the comment on this well I will say a grill section and hit ok then it again asks you do you want to create another detailed view so you can just rotate the model wherever you want it and you can take an, a detailed view of it very interestingly yes and uh, put it in this prospect view right okay and then it say that the back side of the grill okay 
now this is enough if you want more detailed views to begin it it will continue to happen it let me show you how the sample reports looks like actually i created a sample report out of this and uh, the sample report uh, pretty much looks uh, very interestingly and uh, detailed view so this is how the sample report looks like for you you know you get this uh, summary whatever you have put it in and those summaries come you get a feeling pattern the only thing is that it doesn't have the animation at this point of time so this is a summary slide whatever you are going to put the comments it comes into the summary slide so you need not to write the summary again and uh, process settings and you know those you know very interestingly it comes up and so it will i think is the most of the uh, process and if at all you want to make the changes to the any of uh, the the scripts or anything so as i mentioned that it's in the program files let me show it where it uh, this resides this uh, it's in the c drive program files autodesk and uh, say synergy 2023 and then open the uh, vendor folder and you should have these tape folder and in this you should have this audi script and then these are the your templates so you can change these templates with your own you know whatever the templates that you are looking at for this one uh, that's pretty much uh, i hope uh, this uh, session was useful and you should be able to get uh, uh, information on how to generate an automated report uh, for yourself or your vendors Thank you for your time and I will talk to you again. Take care.